Well, this looks promising. Hello again there, friends and fans. Raptor here, and welcome to our first look at an upcoming bunker and weapon of mass destruction builder simulator known as Project Wonder Waffle. If you remember the game Mr. Prepper, and of course, if you've ever played U-Boat before, then you'll kind of know exactly what this game is as we build a cross-sectional bunker and research and develop our very own weapon of mass destruction. We'll have to manage all of the crews inside and get them food and water and also supplies in order to do their jobs as we build our bunker as the Allies are closing in from the east and the west and defend against enemy attacks with all sorts of different weapons and ability to detect them, try to secure our supply lines, and do so much more in order to run our bunker. This one looks good. I like uh, what I see here so far, and I like some of the animations of crews walking around and all the different types of uh, buildings that you can build for the bunker, barracks, communication rooms, manufacturing and such, and also, of course, your unique planning as you'll probably be able to plan out your strikes. Earlier in the trailer, we did see a little bit of, uh, of course, a weapon being fired, and in this case, we get more than just one weapon to fire. So not only is it uh, likely to be a game where you build one weapon, but multiple weapons, and they get to launch your attacks, almost like an early version of ICBM. Well, Project Wonder Waffle doesn't yet have a release date, but you can add it to your Steam wish list, and of course, this one is uh, another Playway game, which is why it looks so similar to Mr. Prepper and also, of course, U-Boat. Th those are the two closest comparisons I can make. We're going to look at some gameplay now. You can see a, a armored train, uh, or rather a camouflage train, as things will have to come into the bunker from outside, and possibly we could get things from inside the bunker. Maybe there's a iron or coal deposit that we can utilize in order to make uh, iron or steel or whatnot, and that's going to be... Uh, Kind of cool to be able to manage internal and external resources as you develop your base. Looks pretty clean. I want to see some more animations and such in terms of the construction of buildings. But right now, things are real basic, so take everything you see with a grain of salt. We're talking about alpha here. I, there's no release date. There's no demo. There's no prologue. But it will be a very good uh, strategy base building World War II building game, which I don't think we get enough of. We've played some bunker simulators before, and they're a little weird with their whole, like, um, holding out aspect or really just kind of limited options to build with. But this looks good with things like communication rooms and barracks and uh, mess halls and research stations. It's going to be kind of neat. Now, what would be interesting in this one, too, and I don't know how far they're going to go with this, is if it happens to go into, like, the 50s and the 60s, if it kind of holds off the enemy for long enough for that kind of more Wolfenstein feel, if you know what I mean, where the German uh, army is not yet, uh, you know, defeated, and they're still kind of bringing the fight and uh, holding out and go coming up with all sorts of crazy weapons. Maybe. That'd be kind of cool. Otherwise, we'll be limited to things like MP40s and whatnot and preparing security for attacks and bombing raids and planning all, all, all of our production to make those things. It'll be kind of cool. So as you can see, there's crafting in the game. So when we go to actually build things through manufacturing, we'll have to combine iron and coal or wood or uh, nails or gold or whatever to make uh, components for electronics or uh, beds and bunkers and things, uh, beds for the bunker, that type of thing. So other than that, I really like the detailing on all of the different rooms and you can actually hear them. Uh, all sounding different, like, for example, the generation room for power sounding a little bit different than, for example, like a barracks or, uh, I don't know, a latrine. Who, who knows? But it'll be cool to store all of our items. It'll be cool to see all of the uh, different things being uh, manufactured and then put into uh, that storage. And then to see how the enemy will attack. Now, in this uh, kind of trailer and also gameplay footage... Uh, there's no real instance of attack, so I want to see a few more things, but I'm not skeptical. I think this is definitely going to be a fun one I want to give a try to, and I'm definitely excited for, one, hearing its announcement and its release date, which I'll definitely be sharing with you guys as soon as it happens, and also, of course, to do a full playthrough and building those multiple bunker silos. It's going to be kind of cool. Now, this, of course, is more of a 2D game in the style of, like, Shelter or maybe um, This War of Mine, so it'll be a little bit more... Uh, familiar, I guess, for some of you who like these types of base building games, and I'm certainly one of them, as it's um, an interesting strategy game, uh, a very unique type one. Now, if this game is successful, this, these types of games always open my mind to more things. You know, it'd be really cool after this game if the developers were to make like a, a modern or a Cold War bunker simulator where you were doing along the same lines of something, for example, uh, like the NORAD bunker in Mount, uh, I think it's Cheyenne Mountain 
in the United States. I don't know, just opens my mind to more possibilities, and I'm definitely not opposed to these types of games. Mr. Prepper was awesome, and I really enjoyed building all sorts of different uh, bunker rooms in that game and designing the bunker myself. And so hopefully this one allows us to do uh, bigger scale building than that one. Now, during the gameplay footage, it actually looks better than the trailer. The trailer, everything's nice and tight together, so you can see everything all at once. But in the gameplay footage, it looks like there's a big area to actually build our bunker with long, uh, very, very deep, like, mine shaft elevators going all the way down. So there is a possibility that we could build massive bases and maybe be attacked. Maybe the enemy will try to launch attacks on our bunker and uh, try to get inside. We'll have to fight them as well as worry about enemy aircraft that may try to bomb uh, the external facilities such as the tunnel for the uh, railroad. Uh, look, yeah, it looks like a, a lot of things arrive by rail. So there could be a possibility of that being attacked and interrupting your supply and such. So I don't know. I am really excited though to see more games like Project Wonder Waffle and this is definitely one that I want to uh, check out myself when it comes out. Now, there's other things I want to see too in terms of customization of trains and more realistic World War II technology. If they're not going to go down the Castle Wolfenstein uh, route, then I would love to see different types of trains being used throughout the war. It looks like the game starts possibly during the uh, better days for the Germans, around maybe, I don't know, 1941, 1942-ish. And then, of course, as the uh, Germans are getting closed in on by 44, 45, it looks like that's when you're supposed to launch your attack. So, I don't know. Does that make it too easy of an end game? What do you think so far? Do you think this is going to be kind of a one-and-done game where once you have built your super weapon and fire it, that's the last time that you'll play? Do you think there'll be a single-player campaign, or is it just going to be a free-play sandbox? But Well, sandbox meaning, like, build whatever you want, but you still have your objective. Do it however you like. I was also just getting the vibe of Evil Genius. Now, if there was a way where we could build different types of weapons in kind of a more realistic Evil Genius setting, that'd be amazing. Of course, Evil Genius being the top-down base builder, where, of course, you could build inside of a mountain uh, island uh, kind of fortress, and build barracks and mess halls and uh, different types of research areas and ways to launch missions on the enemy. And then, of course, the overarching uh, super weapon that you would build of all various different types. Now, that's something I, I, I'd love to actually see in a game like this, too, is a top-down type game rather than a, a side cut. But this does give me those U-boat vibes, and that game is fantastic, too. So anyway... In conclusion, Project Wonder Wolf, uh, Wolf, 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 <laughs> Wonder Waffle, as it says, will take you back to the real re realities of World War II. At least this is what it says on the Steam store page. Uh, at the end... Wait, what? The end of which seems to be near. Oh yeah. Germany is now just a shadow of its power. Your order is to build a secret military base and construct weapons of unprecedented power. Will you be capable of turning the tide of war? Well, I guess we'll see whenever we get a release date and whenever we get our hands on this game coming very, very soon. I, I would hope it's very, very soon. This looks like at least they have the basics here, so we could see ourselves a prologue, and then a demo, and then a prologue part two, and then prologue part six, and then prologue part 14, and then eventually it'll come out. This is usually how it works. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Anyway, if you guys enjoyed this one, make sure you go ahead and smash that like button and let me know you want to see a full playthrough of Project Wonder Waffle when it releases sometime soon, and or the prologue or demo. When, there is, uh, when there's more news on that, I'll definitely share that with you somehow, maybe here on the channel, maybe on Twitter or Instagram, so make sure you follow with those links down below. Join our Discord. Thank you for subbing. Thanks for becoming members and smashing that join button. I hope you enjoyed the news here today on the upcoming uh, Bunker Builder, and I'll see you all next time. Thanks for watching.